Hey guys, today we are going to crack a WPA handshake and get the network pre-shared key. Um, this is just uh, a tutorial on how to attack uh, the WPA handshake. It's not anything on theory. Um, I suggest if you do want to know more about the theory and it's really, really important to know about the theory, is just Google it, spend some time reading about it. Right, let's get started. So one of the first things, uh, let's see what Wi-Fi interfaces are available to us. Uh, Wconfig. So we can see we've got one available to us. Uh, it is in managed mode, so we need to change that to uh, promiscuous mode, which is monitor mode. Um, we can do this by Airmon ng wlan. Uh, let's just do it from me actually. Do it. All right, okay, okay, so it wants us to do it this way, which is following these three here. So let's just quickly do that. I have config wlan o down. I do in dev wlan o set monitor. If I can spell none, goodness me, I'm getting worse. And we've got if config wlan o up. Perfect. Right, okay, let's use AeroDump to scan um, what is around us in the 2.4 gigahertz band. WLANO. Let's see what we've got. Right, you can see all the channel hopping going on here. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be anything else. So there is, this is the ESSID. That's the network, there's the VSSID, and there we go, we've got WPA, TKIP with a siphon, the pre-shared key as the authentication. Let's make this a bit more specific. Let's cancel that. Let's aero dump ng channel 6, dash dash PSID. Let's so get some more information on this particular one. Um, we're going right, to output the file, call it WPA handshake, and it's WLAN. Oh, <clears throat> right, brilliant. So that's that focus now on channel six, just on that particular network. And we can see here there is a client connected to this network right that's perfect so what we want to do now is is do the authentication attack using a replay let's disconnect this client forcing it to disconnect or the authenticate will mean it will have to reconnect and when it does reconnect we will uh we will get the four-way handshake it's exactly what we need to crack. So on this next one, let's try. Let's look at the options we have. Heavy plane G dash dash help. So we want to do the D auth attack. Uh, the number of packets we want to send. So we can use dash O. So let's just build this up. Um, for this one, we do want to use. We can also use dash A. Uh, where is it on here? Or dash E. I prefer to use dash E. Put the ESSID in there. And we're also going to need the client uh, MAC address. So we're going to use this here. And there's the A. I mean, some people prefer just to put the MAC address down. That's fine. Of the AP. Uh, it's entirely your choice. Uh, whichever you pick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick dash E. <clears throat> so let's build this up. Replay.ng dash uh, dash o send one packet dash e let's get the information copy dash e for the client which is here uh, w then o and that should give us what we want. Let's try it. Waiting, sending 64 directed packets towards there and if we run on here, 
we should have the handshake and we do perfect we can stop this running now we've got the handshake and it's already in the file that we gave it earlier which is in this file here so let's use aircrack aircrack ng we need to put the word list uh, location down in this case is here and the name of the file which was wpa and it's always you'll notice that when you do save the file you normally get an addition like this which is dash o one uh you always want to pick the extension dot cap um for this task and let's run that and let's see what we got just so you're aware and i'll show you this you can actually have it to you the output what you see now is going to be black and white you can also have a coloured output as well, which I'll show you in a second. She was show, you know, some nice colours. But let's just try this first. Perfect, there we go. Key found. Now let's do the same thing again, but I'm going to put the dash O at the end for a colour output. It's a bit, bit, bit nicer. It looks much more, uh, well, easier to read, isn't it? But yeah, that's it. So we've got, uh, we've, we've cracked the WPA handshake and we've got the pre-shared um, key. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, it's always good to know the theory behind it. So do invest some time reading about the theory. Thank you very much, guys.